Welcome back everyone. What a game, and what a way to respond for the Lakers. After dropping 4 games in a row, they came back to win a big game on the road, beating the Oklahoma City Thunder on their own home court. And while we're only talking about a game in late December here, Anthony Davis made it very clear that they wanted to win this game, even calling it a must-win game for them following their loss on Thursday night. And I think we can all agree they played like it too. They finally played with energy and effort throughout the entire game, and you could really tell how badly they wanted to win this thing. And getting into it, they made a big change within their starting lineup, moving D'Angelo Russell out and then Jared Vanderbilt in, taking away offense from more defense. Now I'm not sure if it was a matchup thing or if it's something that they truly plan to keep going forward, but it definitely is intriguing on defense, though I'm not sure it would work for them long term on offense. Again, I need to see more of it before making a complete judgement, but it was neither good nor bad if we're being honest. They played around 10 minutes together in total, about 5 minutes during the first half and then another 5 minutes during the second half, and during the first half they gave up 14 points on 85% shooting and then scored 13 points of their own, putting them at a negative 1 throughout that time frame. Not too impressive. But then during the second half they got better, holding the Thunder to only 8 points on 30% shooting as a team, definitely a lot better on defense, though they only outscored them by 1 point throughout that time frame putting them at a 0 overall plus minus rating altogether. I liked it, but I definitely did not love it, and while I imagine they would get better with time, I think I would prefer a different option, which we'll talk about more in the future. But even though their starting lineup did not really benefit that much, their bench unit definitely did. Now it might have been a one time thing or simply a case of them getting hot, but they got great production for their bench in this one. I mean, they got 47 combined points from D'Lo, Reeves, Nachimura with Hachimura leading the way with 21 of his own, including him shooting 8 of 14 from the field and then 3 of 5 from beyond the arc. Pretty damn impressive shooting numbers. And then they were all pretty darn efficient overall. D'Lo shot 55% from the field and 50% from 3, and then Reeve shot 50% from the field and 40% from 3. And then not to mention they combined to knock down 8 3 point shots alone in this one. Now in my opinion, it's really kind of weird for their 3rd, 4th, and 5th highest paid players to all be coming off the bench. But hey, I guess it worked for them tonight. And give Darvin Ham credit for trying out something new, because it obviously did give them a spark in this one. Again, I'm not a huge fan of what their starting lineup looked like out there, but they may have indirectly benefited their bench unit. I'm not sure if that was the goal here for them, but I imagine they're pretty darn happy with it regardless. And for two guys that have been in the trade machine all week, literally being number 1 and number 7 on the most traded player list, D'Angelo Russell and Rui Hachimura play great tonight and they really showed how much they can benefit this team regardless of where they're put. Now are they the most consistent players in the world? No, they're definitely not. But then again, you cannot expect a role player to be perfect every game, and especially when they tend to get limited opportunities. But overall, I think they played great tonight, and while again I'm not sure what their lineup, let alone rotation will look like going forward, it gave them a lot to think about, and really a lot to feel good about as well. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? How did you feel about the adjustment they made tonight? Let me know in the comments down below. But with that in mind, I'll let you hear from the Lakers about their win tonight. Rim, where more did you have to get into to get a difficult victory here in OKC? Uh, last time we came here, we came here on a tough back-to-back. -back. Um, started the game out well, but we just lost energy, uh, lost steam. So, you know, us having a day in between our last game and us having, uh, I mean, this was one of the must-win, one of the first must-win games of the season for us. And we understand how well this team been playing, but we was able to, to play a really good game on the road to close the road trip up. Your birthday is coming up in a couple of days, but this was the first time this year you scored more than your age. So that's pretty good. No, that's pretty good. I mean, in the sense that, uh, you know, it helped us get this win versus a very good team in the Western Conference that we really needed. We were desperate for a win tonight, so, um, you know, desperate times calls for desperate measures. Shift in the starting lineup. You guys go bigger. Vanderbilt comes in. You know, a lot of length defensively, LeBron. Uh, what's kind of just the team thinking behind that? What did you see in the first rendition tonight? Um, I think you just said it, you know, we had a lot of length, um, you know, from the perimeter to, to our wings, to all the way down to our center, obviously in AD. We have the ability to uh, guard, you know, multiple positions, switch a lot of actions, but uh, more importantly, we're able to clean glass. And I thought uh, when they missed shots, especially in that second and third quarter, we cleaned glass. They gave us an opportunity to score another end. Last one for you. Get a, a brief rest, and then Boston comes in for Christmas Day. You've played more on Christmas than anybody, scored more on Christmas than anybody. What is playing on that day with the eyes of the NBA? watching media uh, it's one of the best days the NBA have um, has in our in our season uh, obviously you got 
opening night, you got Christmas, you got playoffs, now end season tournament, whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, it's always special, but uh, more importantly, it's a day for being around family, being an opportunity for myself to be a giver, you know, and, and give to my loved ones and people that supported me throughout my journey um, every single day since I began this. Um, and uh, so it's all about, you know, my family, my friends, and my kids, uh, obviously, uh, my wife, my mom, so on and so on. Um, but it's a great day for sports in general, you know, especially for basketball, too. And just probably this year, especially Bronny, right? Uh, just after what you guys went through at Christmas celebrating it? Uh, he's the best. Straight up. Appreciate it. I think the starting five looked in terms of setting a tone with energy and intensity. And necessarily it wasn't maybe the, the level of stops and stuff, but but the intensity. Did, did you sense a difference? Definitely. Um, just having that size and physicality out there, being able to switch on pick and rolls, basically one through five um, was really, really, really good uh, rebounding. And, you know, they had they, they, they got hot, extremely hot in that first half, well, first quarter in particular, making six threes. And so uh, we weathered that storm but bounced back with a great defensive quarter in the second quarter. Um, and, 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 you know, we buckled down and set a tone for the rest of the game. Uh, came out, had a good third quarter. And, uh, you know, it got a little tight. They made another run late. But overall, you know, we maintain maintain our composure and we're able to get things we wanted to get on both sides of the ball. This last these last couple of weeks have been a real slog um, with the travel and everything like that. We've talked about it a bunch of times. But between eighty calling it a must win game, the lineup change, did did you see this team kind of recapture some of the energy you played with? at its highs um, just a couple weeks ago in Vegas. Absolutely. You know, we have to get to the point where we can uh, initiate, sustain, and finish based on what we want Laker basketball to look like, not just if it's we're playing for something or it's something at stake or whatever. It can't just be about that. It has to be about how we want to present ourselves to the world, present ourselves to these other 29 teams that we're going up against um, in a fashion that, can be tough, competitive, together, and consistent. And so, um, you know, I thought you saw a lot of that tonight, especially in, yeah, it's been a hell of a road these last 30 games. But, you know, you're going to have your, your, your highs and your lows throughout the course of the NBA season. It's a marathon of a situation. And then so uh, the best thing you try to do is just keep your mind active, try to keep exploring ideas and, and, and different ways that you can improve each and every day. You mentioned pregame that, you know, LeBron is, you know, functioning the point guard in the starting unit, but, you know, other guys will initiate. It seemed like you guys leaned a lot on AD um, initiating. I know you haven't watched the film, but how did you feel about, you know, running the offense through him even more than you already do? Absolutely. It was great. Yeah, you know, when we run open with him in that trail spot, we can go either side, get a lot of different looks out of it. You know, sometimes it's flares, sometimes it's corner splits, sometimes it's uh, DHO staggers. So, and sometimes he can just take it and we got four shooters around him. He could take and go one-on-one. -on -one in the middle and so uh, but his playmaking ability Austin's playmaking ability Cam had seven assists Brian had seven assists so uh, Austin led the way with 10 38 total for our team that's great that's that's unbelievable ball movement and uh, another great thing you know came out of the night that we took care of the ball you know we had some a couple careless turnovers here and there but for the most part to come away with nine turnovers only commit nine turnovers and give them 10 points you know it's that's been a little bit of a Achilles heel for us you know not being able to take a, take care of the ball in, in really some really important segments